Hello everyone, welcome back to ATP Creative Corner. In today's video, I am making this fabric folder with an outer pocket. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. Now let's get started. To begin with, I am going to take two pieces of main fabric. Three pieces of interfacing. In my case, I am using duck canvas. You can use fusible interfacing as well and 4 pieces of lining fabric of same dimensions 8 inches across 12 inches first on the wrong side of the 2 pieces of the main fabric and 1 piece of the lining fabric I am going to place the interfacing like this I am going to join them by giving straight stitches on the edges. Once done it looks something like this. To make the outer pocket on one of the pieces of the main fabric I am going to mark points 1.5 inches from the top like this. I will draw a straight line along these points like this. Now I will cut the fabric along this line. Same thing I am going to do it on a lining piece as well. This method of making outer pocket can be used in any other bags. I usually do it for sling bags, duffel bags, hand bags and shoulder bags as well. Next I am going to take a zipper of length 12 inches. Next on the main fabric I am going to place the zipper with its right sides facing downwards like this and a lining fabric with its right sides facing downwards like this. I am going to use sewing clips to keep these in place. Now I am going to give a straight stitch here. Now it's done. I am going to give a top stitch here. Top stitch is done. Next I am going to place the upper strip of the main fabric upside down like this. And I am going to keep the zipper with its right sides facing downwards like this. And a piece of lining fabric with its right sides facing downwards like this. I am using sewing clips to keep them in place. Now I will give a straight stitch here. Now it's done. I will give a top stitch on this side as well. Top stitch is done. Now I am going to attach this piece to the lining fabric to which I had attached the interfacing. So I am going to place them one on top of the other like this and give straight stitches on all four sides. And our outer pocket is ready now. Next to make the main pocket I am going to take another zipper of length 12 inches. I am going to place it with its right sides facing downwards like this. I am going to place a lining piece with its right sides facing downwards like this. I am using sewing clips to keep them in place. Now I will give a straight stitch here. Now it is done. I will give a top stitch here. Now it is done. Next I am going to take the other piece of the main fabric and I am going to place the zipper piece with its right sides facing downwards like this. 
and the last piece of lining fabric with its right sides facing downwards like this with the sewing clips I'm going to keep them in place like this now I'll give a straight stitch here now it's done I'm going to give top stitch on this side as well top stitch is done now I'm going to fold it such that the main fabric is facing each other and the lining fabric is facing each other for the handle I'm taking 6 inches of this nylon webbing I'm going to fold it in half like this I am going to place it below the zipper such that the folded end is inside like this. I am going to use sewing clips such that the seams are one on top of the other. Now I am going to mark two points which are three inches apart on the lining fabric. I'll give straight stitch starting from this point until I reach this point and leave this space unstitched. Now it's done. You can see 3 inches space unstitched here. I'm going to cut the corners like this. Now through this space I'm going to turn the right side of the fabric outwards. Now I am going to push the raw edges inside like this and give a top stitch on this. Top stitch is done. Now I will push the lining fabric inside the folder like this. And a fabric folder with an outer pocket is ready now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.